sensory deprivations where you put people in dark soundproof rooms or water tanks uh, and the people are becoming aware that we needed sensation, stimulation, variation stimulation, uh, almost as much as we need uh, uh, food and water and so forth. It's a basic need and deprivation of this kind of stimulation uh, led to uh, some uh, very uncomfortable states. Uh, so we, we ask, is there a, a personality trait that some people need more stimulation or more variety or intensity of stimulation than others? And that's when we developed our first sensation-seeking scale. And subsequently that expanded, became the main focus of my research, is the, uh, we were surprised by how many things were affected by this trait, sensation-seeking. And then we got interested in the biological basis, the, the genetic and biological basis. And here again, we had some very interesting findings pointing to the fact that this is a very fundamental trait with biological roots. Well, this is determined from twin studies called biometrics of uh, behavior genetics, actually. Uh, and uh, using these twin studies, we initially found that uh, roughly 60% the heritability. Heritability is the proportion of the variance in a trait that's determined by genetics. And we discovered that it was 60%, which is very high for personality trait, which generally run between uh, 30 and 50%. And so 60% is high for a personality trait. Well, it's higher for intelligence and some other traits. Um, so... Uh, more recently, uh, oh, this was established not only using twins raised together, but twins raised apart, showing that it wasn't due to the fact of sharing a stimulating environment, let's say. There is an environmental aspect to this of the remaining 40%. Some of it is error of measurement, but some of it is due to environment. But it's not the shared, what we call the shared environment, shared in the family. It's due to the... Uh, uh, non-shared environment, which means your friends, peers, your unique life experiences that you have that other people in your family, you don't share with other people in your family. We can surmise that to the, particularly since a particular gene has been found uh, to be related to sensation seeking, uh, a dopamine receptor gene. So uh, that means it's been there a long time. Well, actually they estimate that it's per not old evolution, you know, maybe 50,000, 100,000 years old in our species, uh, this particular gene. But there may be other genes that are older even. But you see this in other, the point is you see what we might call sensation seek analogs of sensation-seeking behavior in other species. In fact, a lot of my work has compared sensation-seeking uh, expressions, exploration, novel, uh, approach to novelty, uh, in other species with the same, and explored this to the extent that they have the same biological roots in humans and in other species. So in that sense, we look at evolution, we have a modern test of evolution when you can find something that exists in humans in earlier species, particularly primates, I might say, but also even in rats, uh, when you can find this, and it's linked to the same biological uh, indicators in both species, in both humans and other animals. That indicates it has a, a evolutionary history. Rather, it's more than merely an analogy. Oh, this looks like what we do, but it's more than that. It's the, the fact that it looks like sensation seeking and has the same biological roots. I would say the, uh, the age differences are somewhat larger if you're looking at the extremes. Uh, you know, I would say like at like at about 60, 65, a male would have half the sensation-seeking score that he had when he was in his uh, late teens or early twenties. So that's pretty much of a decline. Uh, the male-female differences are constant across age, uh, but uh, uh, perhaps not as large. There's, when we talk about uh, sex differences, you know, and traits, uh, we're always talking about a lot of overlap talking about population differences. So people always say, I know someone who's uh, you know, a female but has very high sensation seeking, of course. 
You know, there, there's variation within both genders. It's just the overall population difference is different.